Assassin's Creed Odyssey our next storyline up that we are going to take on one of the best Assassin's Creed out there actually Have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. Hmm. I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Oh, this is the story of the free Spartan, 300 Spartans in ancient Greece against the Persians. Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now. Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood. What say you, Spartans? <laughs> for our sons! <laughs> for our daughters! <laughs> for Sparta! <laughs> I wonder if this is history accurate um, clothing or is the Hollywood stereotype of just jockey underwear and a cape all that they wear. Uh, they have the iconic Spartan kick. Your head! 
Xerxes sends his sheep to slaughter. Come, Persian! I will bring Xerxes your head, you insolent Spartan fool! Come and get it! Your bloodline ends today, Spartan! Okay. Let's see who dies today. On your eyes! You will fly, and you will fail! Xerxes is the king of kings! All will bow before no. him king after I crush you! Not Come. Xerxes. Enough talk. Time to die. But the My fact that you say Xerxes is, is the king of you. kings, you What's deserve to die. No match for a Spartan! There's only one king of kings. We are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They are coming. <laughs> By dawn, you will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing. When Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of you. <laughs> Pinky spoke too day much. was a day the Persians will never forget. <laughs> Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Finally. I think we are now in modern time. Wow, this is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be... Just started, Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Okay, so, worth noting, I've made some changes since you were last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. Let's, just Let's take, take this story. one step at a time. Understood. If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. Mm. Give me as much information as you got. There's no way I'm going in there without some guidance. Glad to help. You can always change your mind later. Listen, Layla, before you go off, if this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Herodotus was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but I need <laughs> you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. Mm. 
I think Elixius. He will lead us down the right path, I'm sure. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come. The start of Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't gonna win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it. Oh, and Victoria, read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, so we're going inside another dream state, weird state thing. The series we will go through the entirety of Assassin's Creed, making the entire story documented along the way. I start with Odyssey because it's my favorite. Next I'll go to Origins and then so on and so forth. So the Tower of Leonidas and the 300 Spartans must have been taken a long long time ago. Cyclops got a message for you. <clears throat> Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week! <clears throat> Malaka! Okay. The Cyclops said you like to act tough. So act tough! Get a little closer and I will. You should know by now. The Cyclops always collects his debts. You have a lesson to learn. If the Cyclops wants to teach you, tell him to come here himself. Never mess with the Cyclops! Yeah, and you're dead as of now. Okay. So this is the beginning of our Assassin's Creed story. Last week? <laughs> this shit happens every week. <sighs> I can't keep doing this. Nah, thanks for the warning. What happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus will bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Alexios? Maybe you could ask him for me. Yeah, let's ask him. Even though he doesn't exist, unfortunately. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. 
Marcos is looking for you. Uh, what does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. Wait, what? A vineyard? Malaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Okay, let's go. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <coughs> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. Get out of here. Fun's over. Tell that one-eyed freak. If he sends you here again, I'm going to cut his other eye out and feed it to my bird. I'll see Marcos as soon as I'm dressed. I'll have to go up top to get dressed. Not going to get caught without armor twice today. Let's get this on. Hey, let's get dressed. Much better, but we need to level up first too before we can use a bow. Okay, we are set it. Even though this is from a different time area, what a better way to start our game, but with the legend himself. Oh. For our first episode. There you are. Let's see what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. Maybe some debt or other trouble. Who this Marcos is? I cannot even remember the Gosh, I, I keep telling you, you, you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Alexios, thank the gods! Phoebe Think found you, you in time. About grapes. I can still hear you! I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's besides the point. 
You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Because you don't know anything about winemaking. It's not so simple. Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine. I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. Oh, it's that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan? Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Uh, of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sammy. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sammy, my friend. Who's the merchant? Zuris. You know Zuris. He's very nice. Zuris. Uh. <laughs> Again? Why do you keep lending him money? He's a loyal friend. I don't want his family to starve. You're a good friend, but you're bad with money. Yeah. He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after, there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But... Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. Let's see which horse I'm gonna take. I've made my choice. Which one will it be? Left. The one on the left. Ah, uh, a uh, uh, fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. I'll take this one. This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because... I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. Remember, Fear. meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, Efterpi. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe's been taken. By who? Wait, what? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Alexios. Well, Phoebe takes president, by the way. Yeah! Time to go after the Cyclops. Later we'll do some side questing and other stuff in the next episode. So that we can level up a bit so we can go through the story a bit easier. There they are. I'll sneak up on the Malakas. <laughs> Let's get that little girl back. Let me go! Shut it! Or I'll tighten those ropes! She'll make good ransom drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. All grass will keep me hidden. And I'm gonna assassinate this guy. Can't let the rest of those malakas get away. Who did that? Come here. Uh. 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 
Good night. That Marcos is going to be next. You're next. Bye bye. Time to get Phoebe out of here. Alexios, I'm here. Untie me. Okay, Phoebe is free at least. Are you all right? It wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. Phoebe, just be careful. You're alone now since. Since my parents died? I'm okay. I've got you and you've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? Another flashback. Stronger than that. Don't give in. Let him have it. Got you. <laughs> Again. Up. Yes, Father. Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Ready or stop. Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Uh. Approach me. Ah! That's enough, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> what are we eating tonight? Tonight we are having baby Cassandra. <laughs> And what a feast she will be! No, not her! Take me instead, I'm tasty! Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Yeah. Lay her in bed. Yes, Father. Alexis. Yeah. You are my greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Go. <laughs> Sometimes it's still weird how they dress. too much <laughs> you don't worry enough we'll be all right if we watch out for each other which reminds me the thug said you should watch your back what they say they said the cyclops put a big bounty on you talos the stonefish wants you dead talos the mercenary oh am i ever not in trouble better get him before he gets you i hear he's really mean i'll find my way back to town Here. <laughs> Dalos the stone feast? That's just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that. Being hunted by Miss Bounty Hunter. Dalos the stone feast.
time to go off the duties. Shop. So this is a trade up of this town, the port city. Good to see. Get your boats here, good for the whole. Let's see what they'll do. Get our money back. Hello, Thuris. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself if he wants his money. Huh? Uh, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. At Marcos. Double? That's robbery. That's what I told Marcos. You know him. He's extreme. If you pay him, this will all be over with. You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to 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 a mercenary or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. You're right about that. Forget he dragged me. Marcos and I need to have a talk. You're letting me go? Then yeah. at least take this sword. Nothing special, but it's better than that rusty one you've got. With the Cyclops involved, I'll need it. You better set Marcos straight or you're both dead. Yeah. Got a job to do, Alexios? Time until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could I have an extension? When he sails back to Kefalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks, if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. You can't hide behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the drachmi. Good. Or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. Ah, Alexios, I can tell from the smile on your face, Duris has paid you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? We can get the money back, can't we? I'm sure it's possible. You've Almost made impossible. an idiotic promise, Marcos. One we can't keep. I thought you were invincible. Maybe I am, but you're not. <sighs> I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world, Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand.
don't see fishes like you every day, huh? <laughs> oh! Ha! You hungry? How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You do a few things for me. Everybody wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Huh? Think about it. Wait! Kefalonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos. And look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets to a Mistios with a Havel. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you. How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Skulking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can. Why, I was just filling my friend Alexios in on the details. He already has a plan to deal with these bandits. <laughs> you know me, always prepared. What did I tell you? He will leave no stone unturned. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits today. A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Alexios, I've cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. If you want your wood, you'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. These bows will make me rich as Chrysos. They're that good, are they? Wars brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to hold off the Spartans. Everybody benefits, I guess. Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small-time shit. You should make a fortune in this war. Plus, I hear you're a secret Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. Yeah, long time ago. At least we get our bow now. Hand it over. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies. Not bad. Level up. One per cut at a time. Now that we have started our journey, in the next episode we will deal with the Cyclops and move on with our story. Until next time guys, Isotonic out.